Let's talk a little bit about raising our children. First of all, our mentality has to change. If they don't see in us the right definition of success, if they don't see that in our personality, our conversations, we cannot expect them to have the right definition of success for their life. They have to see that coming from us, in what we talk about all the time, in what is important to us most of the time. When husband and wife are talking to each other, are children listening or no? Always. Their ears are always on. Now if you two are talking about the bills, and you're talking about paying off the house, or you're only talking about movies, or you're only talking bad about this other family and what they did, or whatever you're talking about, they will come to know, this is what my parents do. This is what's important in life. That's it. If you and your wife are talking about Qur'an, you're talking about Akhirah, you're talking about doing good to others, you're talking about helping somebody, and they see that from you. You don't have to give them a talk about it, they just see it. The most effective parenting is not even telling your child to do anything, they just see it. They just see it all the time, inside the home. A lot of you think, if I just bring my child to a brother Noman lecture and sit him down, inshallah ta'ala, after that, لَيَكُونُنَّ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ They will be righteous after that. Just a couple of YouTube videos and their problems will be solved. Ain't gonna help. And you probably already discovered that. You, you are the real counselors to your children. I'm the real counselor to my child. We have to become their best friends. And that's the next thing that's changed in the world. Parents and children had a very organic, natural relationship in the old world. In the new world, dad is at work most of the day. And he comes home tired. By the time he comes home, most of the time children are already asleep. And by the time he goes to work, a lot of times dad leaves to work before kids even wake up. And if he doesn't leave home before kids wake up, he sees them for maybe five minutes while they're having breakfast, and he goes and they go. So basically for five out of seven days in a week, father and children have no conversation with each other. If any conversation, did you do your homework? Okay, now get me some water. That's it. Now comes the weekend. But at the weekend, you have a dawah over here, and a party over there, and you gotta sleep until 12 o'clock. You got things to do around the house, etc. You don't spend that time with your kids either. You don't really talk to them. You don't really communicate with them. This is the real problem. We have to make time for our children during the week and weekends. Just to listen to them and to talk to them, even if they're talking nonsense. We should be a part of their life, a big part of their life. A lot of you, the only role you have to your children, you're like the wall in the house. It's always there, but you don't talk to it. You need it. It's there. We know it's important. It's paying the bills. Other than that, I have no relationship with it. You know what happens to parents like that? You will find the consequences of that the moment they become teenagers. Once they hit 14, 15, and they become a little dependent, and then they ask you for a car, and you say, no, why do you want a car? Fine, I'll just go with my friends. I'll get a job, I'll save some money and buy myself a car. And then you, all of a sudden you hear the news, Dad, I'm moving out. Moving out? Where are you going? Doesn't matter, I'm an adult now. And now you come running to the masjid. Imam Sahib, give me a surah. Give me a dua, I can fix this boy. It doesn't work like that. You can't have state of emergency when they're 17, 18, 19, 20. It's got to be built way, way before. Way before. 